Yeah. So. Anyway. Looking on the bright side. <laughs> Let's look on the bright side. <laughs> We're still alive. <laughs> Okay, so we're at nearly at half past. We got some people. Richard, hello. How are we doing? Okay, so we'll give it another minute and then we'll uh, we'll kick off. Um, any thoughts people want to cover today? More kung fu stuff. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what, what about an, an hour of meditation sat on his asses? <laughs> uh, I'd be up for that. Yeah, I think I need that after today. Today's stress. Well, we're going to have some meditation in your Sulim Tao. We'll, we'll run through Sulim Tao, but not quite as lengthy as we did today. Sixteen minutes today. Who was there today, Ian? No, I'm still to do it yet. Oh, have you not done it yet? Um, I'll get around to it though, Yeah, yeah, it was pretty tough today. I got a bit of a leg shake, but my legs are getting much stronger from doing it. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, so we'll do a bit of first form and we'll do a bit of a warm up. We'll do some punches. Um, jump cue, maybe even. Clap for the NHS at eight. We're we still doing that. <laughs> I know it's going on and on and on. <laughs> when can we get over that? <laughs> Maybe when everybody's dead. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Me and my wife are like, right. <laughs> Okay, shall we get going then? Okay, feet together. So we'll do a little bit of a warm up, twisting, just walk your feet out and twisting. And walking your feet out a little bit more and down to your left. And right. And middle. And walking your feet out, down to your left, and right, and middle. And once more, just walk your feet out, down to your left, and right, and middle. Lunging to your left. Empty toe, other side, onto your toe, and back to the middle, down to your left, and right, and middle. Walking your feet in, left foot forward, right arm backwards. And either way, go far and swap sides or other. Change arm, change leg, other way. Both arms backwards and forwards and opposite directions. Change and change. Shoulders backwards, forwards, and shrugs. Looking left and right, side to side, forward and backwards, circle. Both ways. Okay, circling your feet one at a time. 
<laughs> Thanks for the thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks for the vocal confidence on that one. All the way. I'm pointing your toe. Is that a beer, Mark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should be Wait, later. Come on, come on. <laughs> Should we make this beer kung fu, shouldn't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get progressively worse as the hour goes on. Turning out. Turning in. Circle. And pull back. And knee hugs. On front. And change sides. So circling. Both ways. And point. And pull back. Turn out. Turning in. Circle. And pull back. Up front. And feet together, circling your knees. Both ways. And bend and skip back. And then hugging your knees. And touching your toes. And circling your hips. Both ways. And shake off. Okay, we're gonna do some punches. Feet together, Yuji Kim Yun Ma. Open in your stance, sitting down as low as you can, punching positions, single punches, one to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes, nice and light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fives, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sevens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fives. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull back, close your stance. 
have a little rest. So here we have. Hey Richard. Oh, hey, right. Got Richard one and Richard two. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, all good. You? Yeah, all good, thanks. Sweet. How's the legs? Legs all right, yeah. I'm getting much stronger now. 16 minutes today. Quite a long form. Yeah, I'm good. I missed it today. You what? I got to the mist uh, your uh, life. I thought you said, uh, I'm glad I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was a tough one. I'm, uh, I'm feeling it now. We're now uh, coming up to 20 minutes now, so it's getting harder every day. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it's good. It's like you're building on, building on something, which is good. I think it's getting, um, it's getting harder, but it's, it's also like you, 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 you notice that you've gone a lot longer without it hurting. Yeah, exactly. So it was like 10 minutes before it really started hurting today. But yeah, I, can... I mean, if we, went back, if we went back to the beginning, back to seven minutes now, it'd be a breeze, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've noticed you can see where you're balancing on your feet. You can feel different pressure points on your feet, you know, if you're, you're out of balance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely start noticing a lot more when you slow it right down like that. And mm. It just gives you time to digest everything. So speaking of that, let's uh, let's go through it. So we'll go through our Su and Thao. Um, not so, not so slow as we did today, but we'll still go quite slow. So left hand on top, left fist to centre, punch, locking out, work that wrist. <coughs> so left hands out, sink that stance, just get nice and settled in your stance. So I'll take a rough time on this, about 22 now by that clock. So concentrate on the arm that's mo moving, <coughs> excuse me, and relax as much as possible. <coughs> Corona. Coronavirus. <coughs> Hopefully not. Indeed. So once your elbow's about two fist distances away, <coughs> rotate round into Wu Sao. And keep that wrist in its place. So I'll drop it into first box out. As soon as you can, get that elbow in. Two fist distances, just stop and rotate around into Wu So that's first box out of three. So I'm dropping into second box out. Third and final box out. As soon as you can get the elbow in.
So inside back, back to centre, straight palm, lock out, stretch that wrist, pull back. Has Tim talked out on anybody else's PC or screen? Say again, Mark. Dropped out on my screen. I don't know if it's. it's oh, I'm, not that. I'm just going to. Yeah, I think I might need to pin my. Completely ruined my form now doing this. Pin my video on the front there. How about it? I've just got your name. Maybe it's mine. But it's I think it was, it's because it, it just chooses whoever I was. Whoever's screen I clicked on last, I think. Still well, I've got the, 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 I need to make sure I'm pinned, I think. Otherwise, it records whoever's on the screen. Oh, right. I've just got a blank screen with your name on it for the minute. Oh, did you? Edge the screen. Else, you might have the wrong. I've got two Tim Hallerons. One. There's two now. Yeah, I've got one camera on from the side. Yeah, the one from the side's got one. Ah, oh, right. Very technical. That's what it is. Well, always... Yeah, if you pin the other one. Oh, right, okay. I'll find it. Let's find it. Technical issues. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, first fox out. So I'll drop it into second box out. I'm turning a final fox out. <clears throat> Inside back. Straight palm, locking out, wrist stretch. Second section, explosive energy just on the end. Third section, block and counter. Tan, go on. Tan, yun, low palm. Tan, go on. Tan, yun, low palm. Pong, tan, palm. Pong, tan, palm. Can't tell. Ah, okay. Bit of an intermission there for the uh, change of screen. Are there any questions on that? So it might be good just to go through first form in a bit more detail. Um, or we can move on to some, uh, some of Chum Q stuff. What, what are people's thoughts? Oh, yeah, I'm happy to go with whatever I don't mind. Um. Okay. Stretch my calves at the minute. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, 
Okay, we'll go for some turns then. Um, I'll just uh, alter my laptop so you can see my feet. Um, what's that saying? Well, got more problems now. I've got two two cameras, so we'll go through uh, just turns. So just widen your feet. So your feet are roughly shoulder width apart. So if, if this was your basic stance, just squaring up your feet. So that should give you um, your basic position. Just turns um, one to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so then we're going to do some, put some hands in. So most, I think everybody knows turns anyway, but that's just, so we've got it on video. Um, so let's just do turning punches. So I'll start a left fist forward, dropping your front fist down, turning punch with your right, one to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, turning tan and punch. So one hand's your tan, one hand's your punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we'll do turning um, garn sow. So garn is splitting block, so we've got inside of, of the upper hand, outside of your lower hand. Okay, so we're changing our position and then cutting. Think of cutting in. So a similar position, this should be the same position as you turn in punch, it's just that your hand is open, okay? So, up on the inside, one. Up on the inside, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you're not familiar with this, think of a turning punch that we were just doing with a low guard. In fact, we'll just do that for a, a, a drill. So we're basically cutting down with one and punching through with the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if we open both hands, this gives you guard side position. Just keep running through that. I'm just going to have a look at everybody. So Mark, just um, that's good on your upper hand, but your lower hand wants to be further away from you. Okay. Yeah, so keep that bend on the wrist. Think of first form right at the end when we're doing uh, these guard sows. Um, and and what, the hand position, is it over the, um, the middle or it, or over your left? Right leg. Well, yeah. well, it would have been in the middle, but because we're turning, it's going to appear, it's going to feel like it's further away. Okay. So if it was first form, it would be here. Right. Because we're turning, it's going to feel like it isn't. <laughs> but it okay. should still be lining up with your belly button. Okay, I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So Richard Ashton, hello. Um, so we'd, what we're going to do is just turning punch and a low guard. So make a fist. So you're doing your turning punch with one hand and just cutting down with your low guard. Just so I can see everybody do that first. And then we'll move on to, uh, I can't quite see your lower hand there. I don't know if you can alter your, that's, that's better, thanks. So, um, 
Try and make sure this is coming up through centre. So watch my turning punch here, Richard. So if I was just to do my turning punch, the elbow is driving down this line. So it's the same thing's happening. I'm coming down this line with my elbow. What you're doing a little bit is a bit like this, so nothing's coming down centre. So make sure, think of this, this, think of the backhand punch. So when, you, uh, when you're loading that backhand, think of coming up through the back, through from the backhand and then cutting down with one. So this, this is always, it's a bit like you're punching, like your normal punches. So you're always coming up through centre, up through centre. That's it, much better, yeah. And that's just a normal punch, is your, so vertical, a vertical fist, or just slightly in off the vertical. That's it. And your garn sow, Richard, wants to be a bit further away from you. So if, if you can see if you're from the side, it'll be out here. So we, the elbow's about a fist and a half distance away. So that gives you your garn sow position from the side. That's from the front. That's good, Richard Clark. Yeah. Ben, you've got two targets that you're punching. Your garn's all right, but make sure you're hitting the same target each time. Um, Mark, keep your elbow of your garn sow out front. So at the moment, you've got it here. Okay. So this is in your sort of in your first form, really. So if you think of your centre line check, elbow wants to be pointing well fist distance away. Your tan sow, a fist to two fist distances away. So same with the guard. So try and get your elbow further away from your body. Okay. It's quite, it's quite hard to describe this over the uh, computer. As much as I'm really missing classes, I don't know about anybody else. Yeah, can I ask, with the, with the change, is a change thing cut over? And change and cut over. Um, well, yes and no, but in, with the baby steps, yes, it is. So uh, as you're learning, if we're doing it block by block, yes, you would change and then and then cut. But ultimately, it's everything together. But the danger of doing everything together to start with is that you're missing that center line, so you're missing each time. So you can end up doing this. So it's yeah. much better. It's much better to change your hands and then cut in change your hands and then cut in. So as you speed up, you're still catching this center line yeah. with your punch. So if it was a block, think of a, a, an attack coming down center, or you, you're cutting into that, you're cutting into that line. So make, just make sure you're not going across and missing, missing that center line. So if you look at my chin, from my chin to the camera, if I use that as a line, so if I, if, I, if I changed after my turn, I missed that line. See, so so I'm missing that line. But if I change first, then I'm cutting into that line. You see what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense or is it more confusing? No. But yeah, so, so ultimately the answer is everything together, but don't, don't attempt to rush it because you can end up missing the center line, this line. So if you, if you imagine a center line towards your, your head and that you, you're cutting into that line each time. That will help you get it right. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay, so we'll move on to Quun's, Quun Sows. Oh, in fact, what time are we on now? It's nearly eight o'clock, so we'll have a little, little break for a couple of minutes. And I'll see you back after the uh, little applaud for the NHS. Okay. Cool. See you in a, see you in a short sec.
Hello again. Hello. I, I did um, a thousand tox hours. It's as, it's as good as a clap. Sure. You, you mute him. Oh, sorry. I'm That's back good. now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, sorry, go on. Ian just brought his tortoise up to the uh, up to the screen. That was. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, I missed it. He, he was in the middle of the floor. I don't know why. I just <laughs> thought he wants to get involved. He was oh. doing these first form. Very slowly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so where were we? Um, Garnsau. Yes, uh, so Garnsau. Um, so yes, uh, your question, Bill, was um, should this come up first and then turn? Yes, when you're learning it uh, is the answer. So change your hands first and then turn. Change your hands and then turn. Ultimately, everything together. Because if it was a turning punch, of course, you're going to want to power, power in that. And that comes from the turn. But the, the main thing is, if this was our centre line, so... From there, the camera to my chin was centre line. I want to cut through that line with my arm. So if I was to 
turn first and then throw my hands, then I miss that line. So I really, I must be turning and cutting through. But uh, if I'm doing my turning guards, so I want, so yes, even at speed, it would be slightly, perhaps slightly before. Um, so you're cutting that line. Otherwise, if you turn, if you turn first, um, or if you withdraw your hands, if you, yeah, if I turned and then cut, then I miss that line altogether. Look. So if you follow the line to my chin, that's my turning going wrong <laughs> because I've missed the line that's attacking. This is cutting through that. So I need to cut through, cut through that line teaching. Good question. Very, it's quite uh, difficult explaining these things. It's much easier to show you, but uh, I guess it's good. Good training, it's all good training. So next we were on with quuns. So quuns, same basic position as your guards, but you're turning the other way. So you've got a low bong and a tan. So this definitely changed before the turn for the same reasons. If I was to turn first and then change, again, I miss the line. So always think of this uh, attacking line. So the quun is a tan and a low bong. All right, one rotating arms. So we're, we're gonna change first and then turn. Obviously it's all fast, but to break it down, change, turn. That way you're cutting across the center line with your tan here and your bong here. So you're defending with both arms, okay? So just uh, in your own time. So just changing, turning. I'll do, we'll do a few together to count, okay? So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Richard Clark. Um, One way. Uh, no, no, you turn the right way, only you're, you're throwing your bong like this. So if you imagine this, this attacking line, this is my bong. My bong wants to go through it. So I'm defending with my low bong like this, putting right. through center. Right. What you're doing is throwing it as you turn, so you're missing this line. So imagine someone's punching you in your gut. <laughs> yeah. uh, your low bong must be defending down that line, must be covering it. Right, so there's my time. So change your hands first and then turn. Let's make this a bit more deliberate. So change first and then turn. So we're cutting through two attacking lines. One is the, uh, the head, two is the low body. Right. So one to each count. So just to, uh, slow it right down. So we've got change, turn, change, turn, change, turn. Change, turn. Change, turn, change, turn, change, turn. Just keep going in your own time. I'll just have a look at these. Thank you. You're still doing that thing, Richard. So what you're doing is that. So think of this bong as we've got to swipe, bring it right across our lower body. Think of it as cutting across like that. So we're defending like that. So, so from the quun position, um, from, from the uh, quun style position, we change the position first and then we're cutting across the body. That's it, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So just slow it down, make sure you've got that right. Ben, same thing. You're missing the low bong. So in fact, let's just do low bongs because this obviously so with a low box, so we'll have a guard hand with your back hand and a low one with your front. So we're just going to turn. So then we're going to change. So we now have a guard with the other hand and turning low bong. So change your positions, turning low bong. So it's basically the same move really. Um, if we just look at the, the bong south, so change your guard, low bong, change your guard, low bong. So the bong must sweep across your body as you're doing the turn. That's it, yeah, that's it. Right, brilliant, thank you. And the end position, obviously again, centre line theory, 
Um, this yeah. wrist should be in centre line, only with the turn it's going to appear slightly off. Yeah, It's actually still in centre, so it's still kind of lining up with your belly button if you like. But because you've turned and sank back, um, it appears to move across your body. Nice. A bit level with your hip if you had a mirror. So if I just did my turning bongs normally, it would be like this, a bit like, I don't know, punch, centre line, theory, punch. Yeah. Um, but with the with the turn, you're sweeping it across slightly, but actually it's st it's still going into centre. So it's a bit it's the same principle as your punches effectively. So we're imagining that the contact would be on the top of the forearm, are we? Yeah, so. well, somewhere in between the wrist and the upper forearm, yeah. So we're defending against a low punch. Um, I don't know if we've got a, uh, we've got a broom handle. We've got a broom handle. <laughs> So this is the punch, uh, this is the defense, yeah. So I'm quite basically, I'm moving my body off the line and then I'm using this as an extra. So it's not all hands and it's not all body. So the turn is moving me around it and then I don't have to overcommit with the hand then. Yeah. Okay. That's good, Richard Ashton. Good Ian. So good Richard Clark, make sure you bend in this arm though. It looks a little bit locked. Just make sure your arm is bent. Yeah. Might be just the camera angle. Yeah, it's a bit of both. It was a bit it wasn't quite um uh, straight, but it wasn't <laughs> Yeah. Just try and keep that sort at least that sort of angle on it. Make sure it's not straight. Yeah. Don't want to know how it locks. So, so Ben, just slow it down a little bit. So go from the bong and guard, change your positions. So we'll go through this together by the numbers. Let's just do Kwon Sao because it's basically the same as a bong and a guard. So we've got a Tan Sao and a low guard position and we're just turning. Just do the turn. Change your position. So we've got tan sao, log on, and then just turn. So without with even just keeping your shapes, without putting too much into it, we're basically keeping these two shapes and rotating. Change your position, rotate. Change your position, rotate. That's it, Mark. Uh, just project. Yeah, that's good, actually. Good. Just project your elbow forward a little bit. So from the side, uh, your elbow should be out here. So again, same principle as our center line check and our tan sao and our fox out positions. So we've got our garn sao elbow out here. Just slow down, Ben. You're rushing it. Um, so, and the, you need you need a wider stance and more of a sink. So, remember the the turn is moving you all the way around the attack effectively. So, I'm I'm changing my position and then I'm turning. I'm changing my position and then I'm turning. Oh, that stopped working, that. Oh, it's the low battery. Back on. Side of it. That's working now. More pro more technology, more problems. Uh, yeah, not my own money. Uh, yeah, so that might help, actually. So, change, turn and garn. Change, turn and garn. Oh, sorry, we're doing corn, aren't we? <laughs> Confusing everybody. So it's a low bomb and a turning tan. So, garn is the other way. And Quan is uh, Tan and Lobon. Um, okay, so I wanted to do some turning bongs as well. 
So start with turning bong on, on your right. So I guess it doesn't matter. So turning bong on guard, fold your guard hand all the way back to your body, projecting both hands forward. All the way back and then forward, all the way forward. So remember throwing this out forward. All the way back, all the way out. All the way back, all the way out. Just run through that in your own time. Just gonna have a look at everybody. But remember, we're reaching for a contact with this. So we're projecting our arms out in front of us. So Ben, you want your guard hand a bit lower. So we're doing turning guard uh, slightly different now. Not that we're not doing the punsar now, we're gonna do turning bong sao. So we're just projecting forwards. Right. So dropping this bong sao all the way back, throwing both hands all the way forward. Just so we're playing with the full range of motion there. Bong sao all the way back, throwing both hands all the way out. All the way back, all the way out. Wonder who that was at the bottom. It's me from the side. <laughs> Who's that guy slacking off? <laughs> <laughs> always That's you. Hey? Always you. It's always me slacking off. Uh, ben, just project your bong forward a bit and then drop your guard hand a little bit. That's it. Perfect. That's good, Richard. Richard Ashton. Just make sure you're not putting any tension into your hand. So when you, it, what it's looking a little bit like, Richard, is you're put, putting the energy into that. So we are projecting this forward, but the hand wants to stay relaxed. So don't think of this as a block. It's more, um, we're trying to get a contact with something. So you mean it would like become a grab? Um, well, it, it could fold. So depending on what the contact gives us feedback-wise, we could collapse it in. Whereas we're not trying to, we're not, we're not trying to use this as a, a blocking structure. It's more like, yeah, we're trying to make contact with whatever's coming in, so we can make a decision from there. Right. Based on our chi sao experience. So, Mark, um, just turn your hand to face the camera a little bit more. So what we're trying to do, yeah, that's it. So the palm should be facing away from us. That's it. Um, okay, so, um, is there any questions after that? We've got about 10 minutes left before we're at the time. Um, but since we're on this little uh, vein, we could go for a, uh, just turns. I mean, it's quite it's quite good that we're doing turns and to see everybody mm. and to like pick at it a little bit. So we could stick on this. Is there any questions or anything? No, that's good. With the um, the turns, the the difference between the names is where you contact the punch. So if it's on the inside, it's called one thing, and if it's on the outside, it's called another. Uh, yes, correct. So this could be a garn. It could be a tan. So the tan sao would be if I'm connecting on this side, uh, using the, the thumb side to deflect, that would be a tan sao. If I'm defending with the other side, it's a garn sao. Wow. So on this, this is garn sao's splitting block. Uh, so I'm, I'm connecting on this side. So this is actually high garn sao, this is low garn sao. So garn sao just means sl splitting block. That's garn sao as a whole. And then quun means rotating arms. And then you're defending with the bong and the tan. Oh. So the quun and the garn are kind of collectively this position. <laughs> so this position, both sides of. So that will be garn, that will be quun. Depending on the, so yeah, you're right. So depending on where the, the attack is on the forearm. So yes, <laughs> is a short answer. Uh, tan sao, garn sao. Thank you.
Anything else? So. Okay, um, so we're going to go through uh, turning double pi jarns then, since we're on turns. So fingertips to your elbows, this is out of chum cube, and then all the way around, and then all the way around. So main things to remember on this, sink your stance. Obviously, everything we're doing in our first form should be reflected in all the other forms. Um, in terms of positions, that is. So with, when you start introducing turns, that doesn't change. So, uh, yeah, keep your positions in the right spot. Fingertips to your elbows, tuck your thumbs in. And turns should be fast and stable. Everything should start together and land together. This is turning double pi jarn out of chum q, your second form. So just tuck your thumb in there, Richard Ashton. I'll call you. <laughs> It'll be Richard A and Richard C. <laughs> no, Richard B. No. Richard A and Richard C. That makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to confuse you. I get confused every time you say it. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I just answer anyway. Yeah. That's good, Ben. Just sit down a bit more in your stance. Your hands are looking good. Good, Bill. Ian, just took your thumb in. Yeah, you're just trailing your thumb like that, I think that's all. Otherwise, that's spot on. That's it. Okay, good. Um, so we'll, we've got about eight minutes, so um, chum Q might be a good sort of uh, finishing, finishing thing to do. But obviously those are things to drill, and then we can sort of go through the details a little bit more uh, as we go on. But obviously keep drilling your first form, um, ask questions about your first form, and use the videos on here for stuff like elbow position. So. What's come out of today, um, just to share, is a couple of things like um, Garnsau position was down here, that kind of thing. Um, turns, turning and throwing the hands off centre. So remember, collecting through centre, we want. Um, and, uh, hand, and positions, so that the positions for the Garns all relate back to here, centre line check. Yeah, first things we do, backhand, front hand, you know, uh, tansile position. So uh, all, all the information is kind of hidden there in your first form. So do keep drilling your first form and get to know that really well. And then that'll help you on all these other little later classes that we do. Okay, so we'll run through chum Q. So chum Q. Searching for the bridge. This is second form. So if you've not done this much, then just try and follow along. We'll go through it nice and steady. So feet are uh, just relaxed, so toes pointing forwards, you're not in your basic stance. Okay, checking your center line. Left fist to center, punch and wrist stretch. So just the same as your first form really, up to here. And then both hands into center, and we're exploding energy at the end, uh, Jeng Sao. Turn to your left, left hand on top. This is your turning double pi jars, which we've just been doing. Then we've got Bues. Tans, left tox out, one, two, three. Palms, one, two, three. Drawing your left hand back on your right palm strike. We should all be weight on the right leg, turn to our left. 
and through to your land sow. So just try and catch us up if you've lost you. So we're in uh, right, la uh, right land sow. Right land sow, weight on your left leg, turning to your right. <laughs> lost you in. Um, where are we? Fingertips, look, turning ball and guard. Back to land. Fingers, look, on and guard, back to land. Fingers, look, on and guard, back to land. So three of those. Punch, square it up, fax out, back to centre, jump. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing the other side. So hands into centre, fingers pointing forwards. Double jeng sao. Turn to your right, right hand on top this time. To your left, to your right. Fuse, hands, right tox sao, that's lifting hand. One, two, three, palms. One, two, three. Pull in your right hand back on that last palm. Through into land sao, fingers, look. Turning on and guard, back to land. Fingers, look. Turning on and guard, back to land. Fingers, look. Turning on and guard. This this time, punch. Back sow, jump, arm. Okay, so that's our first section. How did everybody get on there? Do we lose some of you? <laughs> who's, not, <laughs> who's not done that? It was the camera throwing me off. You were saying left and right, and I was looking at the screen. It was just, I couldn't get my head around it. Yeah, I think it's because um, it's very difficult to do this mirrored. <laughs> and because uh, you're facing me straight on, normally I'll, I'll teach this with my back to everybody so you can follow along. So it's a little bit of a tricky one if you don't know it. Send you back to the camera. <laughs> yeah, should we try that? <laughs> Could do, I don't know. Well, well, let's try it on that first section. We'll do we'll that. Do be, that would be helpful, actually. That'd be good. Will that work? Yeah, I think so. Well, let's try it. Me, yeah. We'll see how we get on. So, so we'll go through just that same first section, uh, super slow, and we'll see how we get on. We'll go back to the camera. Everyone hide. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Turn around and you'll all be gone. Yeah. <laughs> Hiding. Uh, opening your basic stance, pointing your feet forward, centre line check, left fist to centre, punch, wrist stretch, right fist to centre, punch, wrist stretch, both hands into centre, jeng sao, turn to your left, left hand on top, to your right, to your left, Few, tan, left hand, tok sao, one, right hand, two, left hand, three, arms, one, Two, three, through into land sow, turning. Contact, look, turn on guard, back to land sow. Fingers, look, turn on guard. And three of these. Fist, punch, squaring up, look before you strike, back sow, back to center, jump. Contact, bar. So same on the other side. So hand into center, double jeng sao. Turn to your right, right hand on top. Round to your left, back to your right. We've got views, we've got tans. Right tok sao, one, two, three. Palms, one, two, three. Through into land sao. Fingers, look, turn on guard. Back, fingers, look. Turning bottom guard, fingers look, turning bottom and guard, and then punch, squaring up through land, into back sow, back to centre, with a jump, and then palm strike, wrist stretch to finish. Okay, so, um, was that helpful or was that more difficult? Uh, that added. Say again. That added. That was good. Yeah. Was that good? That helpful? Yeah. yeah. It was easiest to follow the turning. Yeah, the turning sort of, if you're looking directly at me, it's actually quite confusing, I think, really, for that. So if you're not that familiar with that form, that might be just something to just drill over the next week and then we'll we'll build on it um from that point. We don't think I don't think we should go any further with that because uh 
well, we've got seniors here as well, and we we do that on, on a senior class. So you guys are a little bit ahead of everybody. But um, if there's stuff you want to do and cover as well, obviously first form related stuff, and we can't do the chi sound, we can't do the the techniques, um, which is a little bit frustrating. But um, you know, we what we can do is uh, the detail of the forms and stuff. So uh, if you've got any questions and things during the week, you want me to put any videos up for you. Just send me an email and I'll, I'll do something and I'll put them in the, the group because there'll be lots of people who might have a similar problem. So it's not a problem. Um, if you think of anything that'll be useful, let me know and I'll, I'll get it on the, uh, on the Facebook group. So I'll post this video um, on the group as well. So if you've not done second form, use that video that we've done tonight. Um, and you can just pause and rewind it until you've, you know, until you've picked it up. And we'll um, we'll use that as a little bit of a blueprint for the Thursday night sessions, I think. Okay. And we'll just we'll just get better and better at uh, the little things. Um, I think that's perhaps a good uh, a good way forward for the next uh, foreseeable <laughs> foreseeable. I hope this doesn't last forever. I'm really uh, really missing the classes. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's I know it's not the same doing this, um, but it's it's better than nothing, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it keeps I, I think they'll, let, they'll, they'll probably let us out soon, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to. If we'll have to socially dist, you know, distance and all that. Yeah, well, there's all that second wave stuff, isn't there? <laughs> and uh, yeah, exactly. we, we, we're still in the first wave, aren't we? Um, I don't know. I've tried to switch off from the news. It's too depressing. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's uh, too confusing. It's very confusing. Nobody seems to know what's. You know, too confusing as well, isn't it? Just, watch, just watch our liberals in America. They're funny as hell to watch. They take. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's even more terrifying. Yeah, got a night in America. Yeah, the more you read into it and you watch about it, the more confused you get. Mm. Yeah, it's true. But think of it the other way. You don't need kung fu if you're social distancing. No, no, well, yeah, I mean, we're all pretty safe. We're not going to get attacked in a bar, are we? Because we yeah. can't go to any bars <laughs> or interact with anybody. <laughs> no, people are jumping out of the way. It's like I'm walking over the summer, I saw them. I know, it's brilliant. Out the I, I, I know it's the same thing. <laughs> That's a really good analogy. Like uh, Feud of yeah. Japan, everybody's suddenly more respectful, aren't they? And keeping their distancing. I'm loving it. You know? <laughs> like, oh, finally, respect that I deserve. <laughs> everybody's getting out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> not, in my, not in my co op. They're not like radioactive or something. They might not have to put signs on the floor on the floor because people just don't get it. They're just like so they've got like one way system in the co op, but people still just ignore it and just walk past you and stuff. Yeah, it depends where you are, doesn't it? I guess. There's been some supermarkets and people are like, you know, miles away and then other ones people just don't seem to don't seem to bother. I think that's the most stressful thing is going shopping at the moment. Yeah, yeah. It's like they, 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 they're all right doing following the arrows until they forget something and then they can't be bothered going all the way around the one-way system. So yeah, can't. yeah, exactly, yeah. Ah. And it's, ah, oh, imagine being in that shop all day, though. It must be awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> imagine getting corona for an iceberg lettuce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, exactly. Be worth it for a beer, but not an iceberg lettuce. <laughs> oh. Cool, guys. Well, good to see everybody. Yeah. Well, is it 17 minutes tomorrow? Say again? 17 minutes tomorrow. Uh, I think we did 16 today, so it's 16 and a half, I think, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's getting hard now. But yeah, come to the first form sessions and they'll really help you with your first form. I'm going to go do uh, your not being able to stand. after this now. What's that? I'm going to go do your 16 minutes now so I don't cheat. Oh, good getting... man, good man. <laughs> cool. Yeah, if you want to catch the replay, uh, go and use that. So I'll post this video tomorrow. Um, so if, if you've not learned first, uh, second form, or first form, yeah, use the videos in the uh, private Facebook group. And I'll see you next time. Well, take care, Tim. Thank you very much. Cheers, everybody. Take yeah, care. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.